Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting, I would say, like relaxing algebra question. Here you can see this question in the middle of the screen. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and minus 3. And what is the correct answer? Right here we have three options. We have option A, option B and option C. So right now pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section real quick. And in a few seconds we will check our answer, so it will be it will be really interesting. So if you look closely, we have all the time three, we have addition right here, we have division, we have subtraction. And to be honest, on the first side, it's not that hard. A lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this like addition, division, subtraction, everyone learned this stuff in the in the third grade. So that's fantastic. But here's the tricky moment. A lot of students don't know what is the correct order to do this problem, because basically we have division in our question. We have right here division and we have we have subtraction. We have three mathematical operations. We have addition, division, and subtraction and what is the correct order what we need to do at first like maybe we need to perform uh, something like that like addition division subtraction we can also perform uh, division subtraction addition so a lot of a lot of combinations right here but in terms of math it's really great to know what is the correct order of operation because then we can easily say okay this is a correct order and of course for example this is a correct order or this one and of course after these steps we have a correct a correct answer, you know, and right now let's look closely what I mean right now. I mean, we need to know about the thing which is called order of operation. So here you can see our question. So just keep in mind that we need to know what is the correct order to perform these math operations. Okay, first of all, we have our order, which is called PEMDAS order of operation. This is like a quick checklist. So each of these letters stand for something. So for example, letter letter P right here. And let's start with this letter because letter P has the highest priority. Okay, we are talking about P, which stands for parent. Parentheses. This is our parentheses, this is our squiggly brackets, it can also be this type of bracket. So we're talking about grouping symbols. And right now let's scan where do we have parentheses? Because with the first thing, according to PEMDAS and according to another order of operation, for example, you know about Bodmas order of operation, which is also absolutely the same thing as PEMDAS, but it just depending on what country you live in. For example, PEMDAS mainly used in the USA, in Canada, in Europe, Bodmas mainly used in the UK, in India, and you know each of these letters stands for the same thing but uh, different different expression right here okay so this is absolutely the same thing right now we have group and symbols let's scan up a question in terms of group and symbols let's do this right now where do we have our group and symbols i don't see any of those so we can easily skip this part we don't have parentheses so after parentheses we need to evaluate the expression with e about what do you mean e e stands for exponents okay so we are talking about for example 2 to the power 10 like 5 to the power 10 okay we're talking about this power so don't be scared about it and right now let's scan where do we have powers in our question let's do this right now let's do this let's find our our power Hours. We don't have any three squares. We don't have any of those. We don't have any three cubes. We have the regular expression without any power, so we can actually skip this part. Okay, we don't have parentheses. We don't have exponents. Let's go to the next step. The next step is is multiplication and division group. I'm, I'm going to say it at once because this is one one group. So M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. And you know, right now, let's scan where do we have multiplication division sign. Let's do this. Okay, multiplication division sign. For me personally, I don't see any multiplication sign we can actually skip this part what about division if you look closely we have division right here so it's really great that the first step after this after checking this quick uh, checklist from left to right we have we have d which comes first from left to right we don't have parentheses we don't have exponents we don't have multiplication the first thing we have d which stands for division so as you can see we don't have multiplication we don't have powers we don't have parentheses and after all of these steps if you go from left to right, the first step that we have in our question is division. So we need to perform division first. Let's do this right now. So as a result, what do you have? Uh, we have right here, uh, let's do this from left to right. So we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 equal to uh, 1. Yeah, 1. And we have minus minus 3. So the first thing is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Here's our expression. You can also put these imaginary brackets like for better understanding. And right now in conclusion we have addition. A stands for addition. S stands for for subtraction and you know we have we can easily do this without any order of operation because uh, this is basic expression. So 3 plus 1 minus 3 we can easily 
solve it without any order of operation. So we have as a result 3 plus 1 equal to 4, 4 minus 3 equal to equal to 1. And as you can see, correct answer to our question uh, is 1, according to PEMDAS. But right now I'm going to show you a really interesting trick, one really interesting trick, okay? Uh, I can easily split this part. I'm going to show you this uh, trick. So keep in mind this one is a correct answer. I'm going to show you this really important trick. So as a result, we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and minus 3. Right now let's scan what do we have in our question. Of course we have division, addition, subtraction, of course we do, but if you look closely we have 3 in the beginning, so let me change my pen real quick for red one, okay? So we have 3 and we have minus 3 in the end, okay? So if we, like in our head, if we don't look at this 3 divided by 3, if we leave it in like for the end, okay? We have 3 and we have minus 3, so we can easily, we can easily cancel this expression in terms of like algebra, okay, we have 3 and we have minus 3, so to be honest, when we subtract it, we have 0, so we can easily cancel this one, and we can easily cancel this one from the end, so as a result, we still have this expression, uh, this expression in the middle, which is equal to 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, so the same one, as we solved it before, but with one really great trick. So here is our answer according to PEMDAS order of operation, here is our answer according to like a quick algebra trick, and right now let's look close in the beginning, where do we have this one? Let's do this right now, but a lot of students are confused, because they say, Mister, we don't have one, maybe we need to know another order of operation, we need to know how can we solve this question from, from another angle, from another from another like perspective, maybe we need to go from, from left to right, because we don't have one right here, maybe we need to go from left to right, so as a result we have 3 plus 3 equal to equal to 6, yeah, and as a result we have division by 3 minus 3, maybe once more from left to right, we have 6 divided by 3 equal to 2, and we have minus 3, maybe the correct answer is, is minus 1, we go from left to right, but we don't have this minus 1, and you know, this is like a, a quick, a quick tricky move right here, because uh, to be honest, I, this is a wrong approach, I'm, I just want to show you, because a lot of students solve this question in a strict order from left, from left to right, but if you look closely, we just do what we do right here, we add it first, then we divide it first, and then we subtract, which is absolutely wrong. In 99% of cases, the first step will be division, but this is a correct approach with parentheses right here, okay? So when we have parentheses, okay, we need to start from this parentheses, we have six, 3 plus 3 equal to 6, yeah, we have it. The next thing, we have division, 6 divided by 3 equal to 2, and we have minus 3 equal to minus 1. So this is a correct answer with parentheses. So whenever we have, let me just underline all of this stuff right here. So this is a correct answer with parentheses, whenever we have parentheses in the beginning, okay? But in, in our case, we don't have parentheses, so the correct answer 100% is, uh, is uh, 1. One okay, we we have solved it. Everything is great right here. Two approaches: the first one and the second one. A correct answer in our case is is one. Let's find this answer. Where do we have one? And you know, a lot of students are confused because we don't have it. But zero factorial. This is one, and you know, this is a correct answer to our question according to a basic school knowledge. This is a correct answer. Minus one is a correct answer with parentheses. So parentheses first, then division, then then subtraction. Okay. And you know, this is extremely important part right now, because uh, if you look closely, we have a lot of approaches, but the correct answer is is one according to our order order of operation. And according to this tricky move, we can easily like uh, write parentheses and the correct answer will be will be minus one, okay? So let me just <clears throat> erase all of this stuff because maybe a lot of students think that we should uh, we should uh, choose this option A, we should choose this option option B. A lot of students uh, try to try to solve this question by inspection, but to be honest, when you solve this question and when you say correct answer is three, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math and you need to review a little bit of basic math when you choose correct answer, <coughs> correct answer is zero. Okay, and th this was my explanation about this question. I really hope you understand it. Here you can see once more a solution to this question. The main thing and the key moment in 99% of cases, like the basic cases, let me just write it right here. So like a rule, okay, the quick rule. Whenever we have a mixture of division, multiplication, so let me just underline it as one group, Okay, and whenever we have a mixture, or let me just erase this stuff, let's continue with addition and 
addition and subtraction. So whenever we have this basic mixture, without parentheses, okay, without exponents, like the basic one, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, uh, exactly our case what we have, okay, we have it with division, subtraction, division, uh, subtraction, addition, division, of course we don't have multiplication, but the main rule is still the same, okay, if we have a mixture of multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, we need to perform the first thing, division and multiplication in a strict order from left to right, and the next thing after that, we need to perform addition and addition and subtraction. So addition and subtraction in conclusion, so in the end, this is our second group, addition, subtraction, and the first step is multiplication division, of course, in a strict order from left to right. In 100% of cases, division multiplication comes first, and the division multiplication has the higher priority, then addition and addition and subtraction. So whenever you have a, a mixture, okay, let's do this right now. So whenever we have Let's let's write this uh, tricky move right here. So whenever we have a mix, for example, two. Let me change my pen real quick. So for example, we have two divided by three minus five plus seven times four minus nine divided by three times five. Okay, and we, as you can see right here, we have the, the same uh, example that I told before. We have a mixture of subtraction, division, multiplication, division, and what we need to do at first. I'm not going to solve it. I just want you to underline what is our first step. Okay, let's scan. Where do we have multiplication, division sign? Because as I told before, multiplication, division sign, uh, multiplication, division group is first. The next thing we have addition and subtraction in conclusion. And of course, at this point, with addition and subtraction, you don't need this sort of operation, but you need to know that multiplication division comes first from left to right. Let's scan where do we have it. Okay, the first thing we need to divide two, divide, uh, two divided by three. Okay, where do we have it? Seven times four, the second step, the third step, nine divided by three times five. And whenever we have this complicated mixture, you need to go in a strict order from left to right. So whenever uh, order, uh, whenever math operators comes first from left to right, we need to perform it. So in our case, division comes first from left to right, so we need to divide at first, and the next time, step is multiplication. So whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, for example, right here, division, subtraction, addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, multiplication, okay, at first we need to divide 2 divided by 3 with this imaginary bracket, so the next thing we need to multiply 7 times 4, and the next step is 9 divided by 3 times 5, and in the end we have right here subtraction, we have right here addition, we have right here we have right here subtraction. So this is the easy example. This one is easy example. Uh, so when you, maybe in the future we'll have like this com this complicated uh, question with a bunch of numbers, with a bunch of like mathematical operations. You can easily do the next thing. Of course, without parentheses and exponents. Okay, we don't have it. So I'm talking about basic one: multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, mixture. You need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And of course, first thing is to uh, find where do we have multiplication, division sign. <clears throat> okay, so I really hope you understand it because this is extremely important, uh, extremely important thing in terms of math. Okay, so our correct answer to this question is one. Here you can see it with this, with this tricky move. This is the first tricky move right here. Uh, the second tricky move, according to PEMDAS order of operation, correct answer is one. When you choose correct answer, answer minus one, well, this is the correct answer with parentheses. So in our case, we can easily like reject this part. This is a wrong. A wrong answer. And the final tricky move, just, just try to plug in the whole question from left to right, okay? Just try to plug in the whole question from left to right, because you know, when you plug in this question, uh, let me just erase all of this stuff, when you plug in question from left uh, to right, and you don't like put the whole entire problem, for example, you plug in 3 plus 3 on your calculator, and then a calculator sometimes, calculators gives you 6, okay? Because uh, this is a correct, yeah? 3 plus 3 equal to 6, but then you have division by 3 and subtraction subtraction by 3, and your calculator like doesn't know what do you have further. So try to plug in the whole question from left to right, okay, from left side to right side, and then the calculator are scanning, okay, we have right here addition, we have right here division, we have right here subtraction, I have all the times 3, and then a calculator with 100% with of probability will solve this question, and you say the correct answer is zero is one. Okay, this is like a tricky moment to this question. Of course, correct answer is C according to this test. But according to our question, correct answer is <coughs> is one. With these two tricks right here, we can easily see that the first trick and the second trick, you can easily use this trick. This is a very useful trick in terms of mass. And the second thing, whenever we have a mixture of multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, you need to perform multiplication, division first, then addition and subtraction at the second point. Okay, and of course, the third tricky moment, just put the whole problem uh, if you want to 
wanted to check it with me right now, just put the whole problem from left side to right side, which is extremely important part in terms of math, because a lot of students, uh, a lot of uh, calculators uh, works according to PEMDAS order of operation or like BODMAS order of operation, which is of course absolutely the same thing. So all you need, just plug in the whole question from left to right and just try to be unambiguous about what you're trying to present. If you want to solve it, just plug in the whole question, put this uh, equal sign and you will get a correct answer 100%. So thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. You can also write a question, write your response down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you for your very kind comments, for your for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you everyone for your for your support. I, I think you I really hope you enjoy this content. This is not that hard to be honest on my channel. You can't feel like the integral, the derivative, the equation. This is like a basic question. I would say like for everyone because age doesn't matter right here. Uh, people like students from 10 to like 60 years old can easily solve it, can easily enjoy these uh, tricky questions. You know, it's not about students, it's not about uh, all uh, like people. This is about everyone who want to test uh, test algebra skill. And this is extremely great content, I guess. I really hope you enjoy it. And I really hope your answer is correct because, you know, when you solve this uh, question with me and you say that correct answer is B or A, this is wrong. You need to review a little bit of basic math. But when you say the correct answer is C, well, you should be proud of yourself because this is a great, <clears throat> a great moment. Thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. Also, write your little response down into the comment section. What do you think about it? Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day.